Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where we're going to be playing some Midweek Magic Blast from the Past where we're going to bring a 60 card deck but we have access to every standard set since MTG Arena came to open beta starting with Exelon and that's about five years worth of standard sets right here so there is a ban list to work with um, it, pretty much every card that got banned in standard during that time period it's like Oko, Uro, Once Upon a Time um, uh, Field of the Dead is another one. Growth Spiral is a big culprit right there too. Um, so we have a five-color Yorian Golos deck that we actually built some time ago, and so we're just gonna run that. There was two cards that wasn't legal. It's Ulamog and Growth Spiral. So we have to remove those cards. Um, Ulamog is a arena-only card, while Growth Spiral is just banned. So we replaced them with a couple other cards. We'll see how this goes. Oh, that is a really bad hand. <laughs> Holy crap. We need mulligan that. Oh, this doesn't... This is these are some really wacky hands. Um, we'll keep six. Uh, put casualties. Casualties or over there. Might need a new mouse. Okay. Uh, we'll play the Triumph Tap Pass. Some just guy, maybe some just guy control or five, five color control. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but we'll see. I'm going to cycle. Oh, that's a lot of work with. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play Cultivate. Do you want to counter this? Whatever. Um, okay. Or they just concede. <laughs> that works too, I guess. Not exactly how we thought it would go. I don't, even, I don't get why our opponent conceded. Unless they just drew a bunch of lands, maybe? Um, we'll take free wins, I guess, but... Um, we want to see how my deck performs. Okay, let's see here. Um, do we keep this hand? I think we can keep it. Okay, let's play a trial. Our opponent said hello, and I did not say hello back. Dawn of Hope. Hello again. <laughs> um, let's run out the swamp. Let's play Paradise Druid. Hello. Hello again. <laughs> what a friendly person. Acquisitions expert. Ooh, they're gonna knock a card out of my hand here. Um This is just one card. Not bad. Uh let's see here. It's not the land, it's not binding the old gods or Is it Ugin? It feel really bad to do Ugin. I need to think about my plays here. So turn four, I play the play land. If I play Migration Path, I can get to a turn four conversion ultimatum. I think I want to do that. I'm gonna send Ugin. Yeah. So. I'm not scared by Dawn of Hope right now. I'm just going to continue doing this, which is ramping a lot. Let's make sure we get the right colors here that we need. I think we want... We need green. We need a lot of green, but we get that with Breeding Pool. And we need a blue source as well. 
So let's get that. We hit one card from our hand again. Uh, this time it's going to be the sad robot. Ah, nice hit. Okay. Not a problem. I kind of want to see what is in their hand. But at the same time, playing Tybalt's backside is also really funny, too. We're not in a hurry. Um, unless they have more acquisitions experts, which would be pretty annoying. Let's hit the Dawn of Hope. Not sure what they're doing with that. We're just going to play this tapped. Pass. Unless we just run lands. Alright, uh What land do I want? I want in Dotha Triumph. Okay, so I'm gonna play Tibble's backside. And I'm just gonna exile T Cries. Lands. Neat. Okay. Ultimate here. We play this guy. Uh, it's not omniscience because we have no Jack uh, in our hand. Um, Let's see. It's gonna be Chandra, Liliana, and I can get Professor Onyx too. Warren Glex would be pretty hilarious. Warcraft would be funny, but I think I want Professor Onyx just because we don't really have anything going on in our hand right now, and I'd like to get some more cards. No matter what, they're losing their creatures. Opponents on a very fair deck. Oh, just blow up everything. We'll get some cards. Ooh, that's a card. Um, we will play. Stomping ground tapped. Pass it to them. This 
Set these. Slap this onto our opponent. Let the pain begin. We'll take action. We're just going to grab ourselves uh, the world tree. Uh, we will play... Oh, that's right. All our stuff's a little more expensive now. Um, <clears throat> I'll play Isolate Chapel. I'll grab Cultivate. Battlefield. I'll just put the force down, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> and right, grab back a dude. Whatever. PTBs. It's my land. Surprise. I was gonna lose at this rate. Is that just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Put this in your hand and pass to them. You can always do better next time. need to do anything honestly so I'm just gonna pass we play murderous rider what we're gonna do is we're gonna play binding the old gods and then we'll play Yorian to blink it and kill what any other thing we play on the battlefield what is this thing? Genji! That's pretty good. Target Nun Dragon on. Choose one mode, right? Yeah, got it. Okay. All right. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they want to do. It's probably gonna make me discard two cards and they lose two life. Yep. Um. I'm gonna cycle and see if I can anything else. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pitch this and Yorian. Uh, let's see. We're just gonna grab ourselves. We can grab any land we want. The triumphs are actually drill spells right now, so I kind of want to grab some of these other spells like Watery Grave. 
Enter stat here. Yeah. Oh, all the removal in the world. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, we've got enough mana to do this. Grab whatever we want again, and it's gonna be uh, gonna be a watery grave tapped. Activate the ability. Yep, that'll do it. That time we got to see what the deck could do, although our opponent just kept removing our stuff left and right. They held their ground pretty well, um, but we were never really in a hurry because the those Chandra emblems were going to kill our opponent real fast. <laughs> Prize, our prize. What's our prize? Strict Proctor. Okay. All right. Let's play this one more time. Sacrifice. I'm just not able to do anything very exciting right now. Everything we've got is way too expensive. Ooh, that, rush. that sucks. Wow. All of our spells are so expensive. No, this stings. We don't have any of our ramp. Wipe? Eh, it's not board wipe, but whatever. Um,
Yeah, we're just gonna blink our psalm simulacrum, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really matter if I attach you to any of those things, so I'm just gonna slap it on my island. Okay. We'll grab ourselves. Oh, uh, let's see. The problem is we have too much green and black. We need one more blue and one more red to play Genesis Ultimatum. Why do you have not played that card? Okay. Let on the snow. That's fine. I will draw a card. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine now? Huh. Yeah, I guess we're gonna just oog in here. Minus three. All creation can be undone. I think their opponent might be a little boned. They need an answer first before they can play mascot exhibition and pest summoning. Well on the snow does a job. This is ultimatum. One, two, three, four. I'm focused. I got a job to do. See how our opponent answers this. Um, our opponent might be stalling us out at this point. Yeah, so we'd grab um, the World Tree. That's the land we'd get. And we're binding old. Let's see, binding old gods was going to be hitting their token because they're currently. That would put them one mana off of Mascot Exhibition unless they top deck a land. As for Kaya. I don't think we need to be worried about 
professors in biology, so I'm just going to slap the plus one ghost form counter onto Golos. Take action. Okay. Let's scroll. Let's get this world tree. Let's blow that thing up. Uh, let's see. Let us play Endatha Trium next. Let's put the plus one, plus one counter. Or, sorry, not the plus one, uh, the ghost one counter onto Golos. So it gets. If it dies, we just put it into exile. I get to put it in my hand and create a 1 1 spirit. Wow, two blood on the snows back to back like that. Yeah, next turn we, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven mana, twelve mana if we use Paradise Druid. With twelve mana to work with, we go grab a land with Binding Dual Gods, which is tabbed. So twelve mana to work with, I mean we play Vorn Clicks and uh probably plus one Kaya. No, actually no, we use Golos' ability. What am I talking about? We use we totally use Golos' ability if they don't answer it. If they do bop it, then we probably go with the Vorin Clex play then. And then play Golos. Actually No, I just I just play Golos, right? Because I have twelve mana. Five mana, five plus seven, five for its casting cost, seven for its activated ability. Yeah, I just play Golos. Yeah, so our opponent is pretty screwed here. Yeah, I mean, they, they lost, so I assume they, they were screwed. But, yeah, with the removal in white and black, I can only see them uh, effectively not being able to answer Golos well. Because if they exile it, they destroy it, they make, a, make me sack it, doesn't matter. It's going back to my hand, I'm just going to rip it off again next turn. Um, and it's going to be a bad time for me. Unless I hit just a bunch of lands, or... Just irrelevant spells. Either way, we got the W, and that's what matters. Kind of looked a little bad there at first. Uh, I mean, we were getting pounded early with all those small creatures, but uh, held on, <laughs> despite having all of our big spells in our hand. But that's the power of the deck. Each of these big spells will really go over the top. Like Genesis Ultimatum, like Ugin obviously is a good board wipe. Like, all of these spells are going to do a ton of work. Um, so I'm gonna go through the card by card. This is not a cheap deck. It is utilizing what I have, so it's a, so it's in, in a sense budget for me, but not budget for like the average player most likely. Although the, these this deck does have a lot of like good cards in general, so they could be worth um crafting. So we got Yorian um as our companion, which means that we have to run an 80 card deck. Um, we got two Valkies. Um. Sometimes we'll play it as you know the creature side, and other times we're just going to cast as Tibble. And most of the time we want to cast as Tibble. We have red sources to play it that way, so it, it is possible to play it. And the idea is that you want to grab it with uh, Emergent Ultimatum and then choose Valky, but then actually cast a Tibble side instead. So that's pretty cool. So it's a mono, technically a monocolored card, but then you can play the Tibble side, unless they change the rules on that for some reason, um, which is possible. Um, we have some of our ramp here. Because we don't have access to Explore or Grow Sparrow, we have to play Elysian Caryatid. Paradise Druid at least can get us um, uh, extra mana for a turn before our opponent probably bops it. Um, nice to have hex yes, Hexproof as long as it's untapped. Um, Wolf Willow Haven, kind of hard to interact with, although our opponent did interact with that that one instant spell. Exiles a non monocolor permanent. Um, we had. Place it of cultivates, you know, it's just you know that is just a good ramp spell right here. We need extinction event. We never saw this coming come up. Same thing with Shadows Verdict, but there are board wipes to kind of slow down the aggro decks. Migration path, you know, it's nice to go from like a turn two dork into a turn three migration path, so that way you have like access to like seven mana, so you can do a turn four. Um, uh, was it emergent ultimatum <laughs> potentially? 
uh, let's see. We have binding to old gods. This is, I mean, this does so much work. I don't, I can't believe this is an uncommon still. Like, this is, this feels like a rare. Like, being able to destroy none, any London, none land permanent, and then being able to ramp any forest card. Like, it's not just a basic. Usually these things say basic, but you can grab anything. So, you can grab overgrown tomb, you can grab uh, stomping ground, any of the triomes that are forests. I mean, you can grab those snow duels even because they have the uh, land types on them. Um, you have Sad Robot, um, synergizes nicely with Yorian, as you guys saw, I got to blink it, get an extra land off of that, and of course, it gets some incremental value. We don't expect selling Sad Robot to stick around, we expect it just to ramp, and also leave a straw card as well, so it does a good, good bit of work, and also, you know, soak up a little bit of damage. Um, Shadow's Verdict, I mean, again, some board wipe, uh, Kaya, the Inexorable, just a one of right here, it's a nice little synergy with, uh, uh, for example, uh, where is it, Vorinclex right here, because <laughs> if you get this... Kaya and Vorinclex at the same time right here. Uh, Kaya get, gets 10 loyalty, but do minus 7. It is your effect. You've effectively won the game unless you're so far behind, but being able to cast a legendary spell from hand, graveyard, or, and or among cards, you own an exile with pink's mana cost. So uh, if anything ever happens to Vorinclex or any of your other legendary spells, I mean, you just cast it back again. Kaya included, actually, which is insane. Um... Golos, you know, is one of the premier all-stars of this deck, which also synergizes with Yorian in the sense that, you know, you can blink it and, you know, get another land. Um, let's see, Lil Lily and Professor Onyx, a.k.a. Uh, Lily 2.0, um, they're just, you know, our big bombs that we want to grab with uh, Emerging Ultimatum. Jondra, same thing as well. It's also win condition, too. I mean, you saw the plus two, you know, two of these emblems slapped on your opponent, and, you know, that's a ten... That's a... I guess a 10 turn clock, but hopefully you can kill your opponent faster than that. Storm the Festival actually is a, a one of card I have in this deck right here. It does get a little better, the more like a, a permanence you have there that's 5 or less CMC. And there's a lot of them like here. We got Golos, we got Shikaya, we got Sad Robot. We got a decent number right here. Um, it's better it probably in the it, the Elementals iteration I have, where it's focused more on like using Risen Reef and Elementals. Um, but I just thought I'd throw it in here because, you know, if you decide to, you know, exile it with, uh, st Storm, uh, was it, uh, Emergent Ultimatum right here, then you effectively can go even deeper into your deck and grab even more cards. Um, let's see, Voringlex, you know, I already explained why this card is good. It also shuts off you know, opposing Planeswalkers kind of hard. Um, Casualties of War is just a one of, um, I'm not sure if this is going to be good in this kind of format. But, um, so this can be easily replaceable. Garrick is here, Coma's here, um, these guys are bombs. Uh, Genesis Ultimatum and or Emergent Ultimatum are two big bomb spells that we want to be able to cast. I know it seems a little weird to have both of them because, you know, they're very uh, color intensive. Uh, but they're both very powerful and it's not that hard to, like, fix our colors with Golos and getting World Tree out. Um, let's see, we have Ugin as our also our big bomb and sweeper. Omniscience as well, in case we are stuck with a handful of, like, bombs like we were in the last game. Um, uh, most of the time we want to cheat this out with like Merchant Ultimatum or with uh, Golos and uh, that's pretty much it and the deck is kind of flexible in the sense that um, you can kind of like switch around the bombs in this deck you kind of want to keep the Golos and they're kind of important but like when it comes to the other ones like Chandra or Lily or whatever you just kind of throw in whatever big bombs you want to throw in there these guys are just my bombs of choice because i happen to have them and they're really good uh, but uh, yeah uh, everything else in the deck otherwise you know a lot of the ramp package you know is, is cheap um there is another deck i do have hold on let's see that's a little bit more budget friendly it's called yorian elementals i kind of brainstormed it it seemed kind of cool i may show it off in another video um basically it's focused kind of around risen reef and also your your rock as well um being able to get all of that elementals uh value and good stuff synergies here so we got we're running the elementals like Leafkin Druid, Cloudkin Seer, which also happens to draw us a card, and a 2 1 flyer is pretty respectable. We can poke in a decent bit of damage and kind of like threaten planeswalkers. Um, yeah, with Risen Reef, you know, you can get a ton of value pretty fast. Tangled Floor Hedron is also an elemental, keep in mind. Um, Wolfville Haven, I mean, it's just a ramp card as well. You, get, you see the ramp package here with the cultivates, and the Omen of the Hunt is kind of neat because it sticks around the board so you can actually like blink it with Yorian. Uh, so I tried to choose. I, the reason why I 
I thought of this deck is because, you know, the Risen Reef elemental synergies kind of work well with Eorian. Being able to blink all those stuff, it would be pretty insane. We throw in Ravenous Chupacabra because that's just a pretty good ETB effect right there that can use and abuse with uh, Eorian. And uh, Binding to God, same reason as well. Sad Robot, Cavalier Gales, Cavalier of Thorns. These guys are the elementals. I wish I had more um, because you definitely... And if I had more, you know, if you have more, definitely play more of these because they definitely synergize really well with the deck. Um, Elder Gargoyle is kind of like a big bomb, like it really slows down the aggro decks. Um, most of it's the same stuff. This is a deck that utilizes Storm of the Festival even better because there's a lot of more impactful, like five or less CMC spell uh, permanents. Um, Genesis Ultimatum um, is our big bomb spell of choice to be able to just like spam a bunch of cards on the battlefield uh we're still running the ugins and the omniscience because these are just really good cards even though like we don't want to hit our own stuff sometimes we need to do that in order to stabilize because we do generate a lot of card advantage and value ideally with this deck already so that's the idea with this little element of synergy deck um i'll i'll throw the deck list for this for both both um the yorian golos deck that i use well actually we're both technically yorian golos so um i'll Throw the deck list for the deck I use in this video, and also the elemental deck, and you know you can see um, which one you like better. The elemental one's a little bit more budget friendly um, because a lot, like I think, like over half the spells are um, common or uncommon. The lands is where it gets not so budget friendly. So, but the re reason why I'm running this is because uh, again, it's just I love running five color good stuff. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.